Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another YouTube video. I hope you're having a fab weekend, you had a good night last night and you're just chilling. Someone's trying to text me, who could that be? Yeah, I hope you're all relaxing and having a lovely day. I just wanted to sit down, film a little bit of an intro to this video. As you guys have seen from the title, this is going to be a Zara haul. I feel like Zara is a store that I love we love zara on this channel but i've just not been in there in a while like i've just been walking past i see the sale and it's just there's a lot like you can get some good things in the sale do not get me wrong but i need to be in that kind of sale frame of mind for zara because zara is like a battleground when it comes to the sale is that just the stores near me or can you guys relate let me know below. Zara sale has its highs and lows. I'm going to leave it as that. When I was recently visiting my friend M, I did pop into Zara and they had some gorgeous new bits in. And I thought, Do you know what? Let's pick them up, show you guys what I've selected and see what we think. A lot of this stuff I haven't tried on. I literally just bought it all. And I was like, I'll try it on with you guys. We will get our first impressions on camera. Make sure you grab yourselves a nice warm cup of coffee or a hot chocolate or a peppermint tea, whatever floats your boat. Um, and cozy up for today's video. guys are not already subscribed to this channel go down there hit subscribe turn the bell on if you want to be notified when i upload and also please check me out on instagram my name is georgia may underscore xoxo and you'll see a lot of these pieces styled up over there with my everyday wardrobe also just want to say a huge thank you for getting us to 80k i don't know what's happening 80,000 people i've got no words it's kind of amazing so yeah thank you guys so so much oh, my favorite thing and the most expensive item here she is Okay, so this item I saw as soon as I went into Zara. I fell in love with it instantly. I think it's going to be a really good coat for probably uni people. I felt like if I was at university, this would be a really nice practical coat because it's definitely more of a casual piece. It's not really a work coat or anything like that. It wasn't cheap. I believe this was £84.99. I'm going to link everything below, so have no worries but i do believe this was 84.99 and as much as i love it i just feel like that is quite expensive for this but i've already worn it i've worn it on instagram you guys might have seen this week and i am kind of obsessed so just for reference i grabbed this in a medium to large and it's a little khaki kind of puffer coat um but it has a belt detail which i love i love how these puffer coats are now adding a belt it makes the world of difference when you want to give yourself a bit of shape so really really appreciate the belt that is kind of happening at the moment but then it does have this kind of like gray hoodie sort of like in the coat so it looks like you've got like a hoodie on underneath which initially i fell in love with that concept until i realized um that the hoodie isn't actually all the way in the jacket like it's only in the lining which i guess is nice if you still want to wear like a jumper underneath but i don't know i think i would have actually quite liked it if it was two separate pieces that were then layered up um but i know not everyone's gonna like that so i guess it's it's open to what you would rather love this color khaki it's one of my favorites love the light gray it's something a bit different for me i don't have any coats in this color super practical it's like a kind of like puffer coat so great for when you're doing errands running around i just really am into this again zara is a little bit more expensive for things like this but i do feel like i rewear their coats um i have coats from like four years ago that are from zara that i still wear now they're really classic so yeah, I do find that I get my wear out of Zara coats, just for reference, but I'm really, really happy with this. I saw it in the store, I just had to have it. Hello, here we are in the first item, and I love it. I've also just realised I've got banana bread in the pocket. Oh my god. This is Starbucks banana bread. I think it's been in this pocket for about four days. Oh my god. Moving swiftly on, this is the coat. I actually really, really love it. I hope you guys can kind of see. I'm standing quite far back now, so fingers crossed you can see it like completely. Love the colour. I really like the belt, like I've said. It's really cosy and warm, but it's not like too much. But it's it's a big enough coat where I could put another layer on underneath. Um, and also if you wanted to just zip up one of the zips, you can. Um, I just really do like it. I think it's a very casual coat. Would look really nice with some black leather look trousers jeans joggers gray joggers whatever you kind of want to wear it with leggings i think it's pretty chilled obviously the hood is in this material um but i really really like it i just think i didn't really own anything like this and it just caught my attention so yeah for me this is definitely a bit of me i will pop my instagram below if you want to see me wearing this because i've already worn this over on instagram so yeah you can go check that photo out if you are interested 
but this is definitely a winner. Yeah, I love this. So next up is an item that I've actually already worn as well. I don't know if I've actually posted this on Instagram yet, but I have already worn this jumper. This was a last minute little grab for me, actually. Um, it is, as you guys can see, a lemon kind of sherbet coloured knitted jumper. I love the knit of this. I really like the shape. I grabbed this in a medium and it's like a nice level of boxy where it's not tight or, uncom or uncomfortable, but it's not ridiculously large. It's really, really nice with light wash denim and kind of helps you to feel that you're somewhat coming out of this horrible weather even though I don't think we really are but it is quite a spring summer piece but obviously it's in this chunky knit so it's going to keep you warm I just feel like I needed a little pop of colour I love this lemon I actually had a jumper in this colour from Zara when I was at uni so this is like three and a half years ago now that I absolutely loved but I stained it so when I saw this again in there I was like I need it yeah I just I'm really really into this and I also think the good thing about this is you can wear this in the spring um because it kind of brightens and freshens up your wardrobe but it's still going to keep you warm because it's obviously quite a dense kind of chunky knit so yeah I've been loving this I wore this the other day I even have been wearing this with like what I've got on now which are just like some white kind of joggers just to kind of change it up really than doing like a hoodie so i think it's more versatile than you would think they also did this in a lovely blue shade so yeah go and check it out if you guys are interested i've actually been getting quite a bit of wear out of this jumper okay so now i have on the little lemon jumper and i just love it i've literally thrown this on with some white um like trousers comfy slouchy tracksuit trousers just around the house but i would pair this with jeans i'd wear it with these you could even wear it with a light legging if you wanted to i don't know i really really like this it's super cozy the fabric for was really nice on my skin it's not itchy in any way um i think it's a really nice fit so as you guys can see it is kind of boxy in the medium but i don't feel like it's like drowning i feel like you could still tuck it in give yourself a little bit of shape but it's not skin tight and this is the kind of jumper that i like the fit of the most a lot of my jumpers are from zara because i just like the way they fit so yeah for me i love this i just think the color is really nice it adds a little bit of brightness and brightens up your winter wardrobe because i feel like it can get really bleak really repetitive and i can just kind of end up wearing like gray and black all the time so i think having a little bit of color is quite nice especially when it's just a nice pastel kind of sherbet color so yeah i love this it, it literally lifts my mood when i'm wearing it so i think this is definitely a winner okay i bought a lot guys so well done if you're still with us let's go on to this top this is an absolute favorite of mine i've seen this a couple times and i kind of left it but then i just had to get it so i grabbed this in a medium it was 25.99 and it's a really unusual fabric in the center it's kind of like a crepe material um yeah just really really unusual almost like 3d i don't know i've never really worn anything like that has sort of like a rounded neck to it but the reason i picked this up is for the sleeves these beautiful kind of organza puff sleeve um obviously it goes in at the wrist the cuff oh my gosh i think this is so so pretty i've got a black top very similar to this that i got in a boutique like very local to me and i wear that top so blimmin much because it's like wearing a really comfortable top but you look like you've made such an effort which is what i love about these this style of top so i just thought this was really pretty this kind of sheer sleeve that it comes with um and would be nice tucked in into some light wash jeans again a great piece transitioning out of winter more of a spring item but i really really love it um and i just had to grab it this was 25.99 this is the white um top now Okay, so I've got a few things to say. I don't know if this is my kind of thing. I mean, I can imagine tucked in or with a skirt or with some high-waisted jeans and actually given a little bit of shape, it would be quite nice. I think you could probably size down in this. I think I could have actually got the small because I would just rather that here it wasn't it's quite like a boxy style is what i mean it's kind of like loose fitting and chilled out but these style of tops i actually quite like them to have a little bit of shape i just find it to be a little bit more flattering because the sleeves are so oversized i like normally that this area gives me a bit of shape so you'd have to kind of tuck this in or add a belt or something to give you a little bit more structure here if that's what you want i adore the sleeve detail i think that is absolutely gorgeous it's like a completely sheer fabric with all of this like floral pattern and print love 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 that i think that's really nice honestly i don't love this bit here i think it looks a little bit like a vest i think the cut slightly off the shoulders isn't actually that flattering i think it would have been well, they couldn't really do it up there actually because that's not great either but i don't know i just think this here looks like a white kind of vest with the two mesh sleeves so i'm really not sure about that 
to be honest with you guys. This is what it looks like on the back. I do like it. I just, I've got another item that's very similar to this coming from In The Style from Lorna Lux, her collection. And I just feel like it looks better, that item that I've ordered. So I feel like out of the two, I don't want loads of tops that are obviously the same. I'd probably keep the other item over this. But for some of you guys, you might really like it. You might like the fact that it's loose here and like comfortable and a bit more slouchy. Next up, I have a little hair accessory. Hair accessory? No. Head accessory, no. Next up I have a little hat. Yeah, let's just leave it as that. So I saw this and I grabbed it because I really loved it. It was 12 99 um, and I loved the colour. I just thought the colour was lovely. The kind of chunky knit is really nice. I have put this on my head like three times before I go out and I can't wear it. Sophia from Sophia and Chintzia recently posted an Instagram photo in this hat and she looked great in it. There's something about it, like there's loads of like extra material at the back and it kind of just sticks upwards. Obviously I can't try it on right now because I've got this silly bun on my head, but yeah, I think this might be having to be returned. This does not suit me in any way, which sucks because I love a hat and I thought this would be really, really cute, but it just like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like very like top heavy. Like I feel like there's just too much hat and it kind of goes up like a gnome's hat. I don't know. So I was trying to be cool with this. I was trying to be a bit trendy, but I might have failed. I think this might have to actually go back to the shop. I have another khaki item. Loving the khaki. Uh, I actually do, I love this color. I think if you want to introduce a bit of color to your wardrobe, if you're a very neutral girl like myself, um, I feel like khaki is a really nice one. And I really like khaki with blonde hair. I like it with all hair, but I just feel like it's a colour that kind of suits me a little bit. So that's why I tend to lean towards it whenever I spot this colour. Um, now, I've got something to say about this style of jumper. I absolutely love it and I have a version of this in black that I wear a lot with high-waisted skirts because it is quite a slim fitting little jumper. But I do kind of struggle sometimes with how to wear these. I don't know. I think because they're not boxy and oversized and they're really quite tight, it just feels so unusual for me. In the winter, I'm so used to like putting on 100 layers and just hiding in my clothes. So when something gives me so much shape, I'm like, oh, where has this come from? We have another little piece of khaki coming in. Um, I just love how it looks with cream. I think it looks really, really lovely. So this is slightly cropped, as you guys can see, because these are high-waisted. So it definitely is on the shorter side. So I think it's probably gonna look a lot better with something high-waisted. I really like this. It cuts at quite an unusual place on the arms. Um, I don't know if it's the most flattering. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I think of that. It's nice and high necked. It's very, very warm. I like the fact that it's ribbed. Super comfortable fabric. I do think it's quite, I say it's quite useful. It is in a sense, because you could team it with so many things. But I always get so confused whenever I wear something like this in the cold months, because what do you do about the rest of your arms? Do you wear a long sleeved, like do you put another layer on? Do you just put a jacket on? Is this more of a spring item because of the length of the sleeves? I never know how to kind of wear these this time of year. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I do think it's very, very cute. I'm just not overly sure about it. Like how practical it's gonna be. Is it gonna sit there like until March or not even March, like until like April or something. I don't know, um, but I do love the color and I think it's really cute. So it's something I need to kind of look around with the rest of my wardrobe and see what I could actually wear it with. But if you wear this sort of thing a lot, maybe to work or something, it's honestly great, really, really comfortable. Uh, I wonder if Zara do this in any other colors. It would be great in like black or cream or something. So I'll have a look and obviously link this one below. Next up is probably my favorite Favourite, most favourite thing in this haul. I swear I can't speak today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I need more coffee. Yeah. So this is my most favourite thing. I think you guys are going to love it. I showed it to my friend and she was like, I love it. And it's absolutely beautiful. But I'm really struggling struggling with how to style this. Do I just style this up with some high-waisted jeans? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So it is such a beautiful jumper. This was $25.99, which I think is quite a good price from Zara. I got it in a medium, and it is this little jumper with like these big kind of balloon sleeves, as you guys can see, and this lovely cream knit. And then it has like a straight across neckline, these little frills, and then it just goes down into this scrunched kind of waist. I think this is beautiful. You can obviously tie it at the back. They've tied it in a bow. I genuinely think this is so stunning. I think it looks really expensive, really different. I love the feminine kind of details on it. And I really want to bring this actually to Venice because I'm taking a little bit of a um, 
random trip to Venice I just decided to go on with my mum um I kind of was like mum do you want to come away with me and I booked us a little trip away so that would be so much fun but I feel like this would be an amazing piece to wear whilst I'm out there but I am a little bit clueless on how to style it up do I do like a little flared black skirt I don't know I really love it I'm just struggling at the moment with how to style it it's a really nice heavy thick knit yeah I'm here for it I'm here for it okay everyone so here is the infamous top that I absolutely adore but I'm just struggling with, I don't know. I'm like, am I trying to make something work that just doesn't work for me? Or do I just need to figure out what to kind of style it with? So as you guys can see, it has this really nice cable knit design on the front, these gorgeous little frills up here, which I really, really like. I think this is a really pretty kind of neckline. And then obviously it has more of the like dramatic sleeve that goes in. It's really pretty, it has the elasticated bit on the bottom here. And like I said, I grabbed this in a medium and I do think it's really pretty and super cute and girly. Um, the back is gorgeous, but again, I'm struggling with what to pair this with or if it's the right kind of thing, if I should keep it. I believe this was quite a good price, $29.99. It feels really nice, really nice on my skin, not itchy. It feels very, very warm as well, which I like. Um, and I just think it is a little bit different to what I've seen elsewhere, which is what I love about Zara. Every now and again, they'll bring something out which is so different, no one else has, and it just looks really, really lovely. So yeah, I really like this. I'm just a bit baffled about what to kind of wear it with. So any suggestions would be very warmly welcomed. Now I have a little basic. So you guys might remember these from the summer if you've been following me for a while. I fell in love with these because of a good friend of mine, Emily Philpott. Uh, she wears them all the blooming time and she really got me into them. And I had a white one and a black one and they seem to have walked away. Does anybody else's clothes just like literally grow legs and walk off, never see them again, don't know where they are, hello, where have you gone? I, it's always my most favourite clothes. It's always a top I want, it's always a skirt I want, it's always a dress I want that vanishes. Now I do have a sister who's 21 and I think she's like when she comes home from uni sometimes she's like, hmm, I would quite like to take that back to uni with me. So I feel like that happens with a lot of my clothes, which kind of sucks because I love these little basic tops. Definitely not going to be like the most practical this time of year, but I just saw this colour and I was like, it's really lovely. I do wear them all the time. I wear them around the house. I'll just pick it up. So I got this in a medium. It's £7.99. Sometimes I get them in a small if I want them to be a little bit more form fitting, but they only had this one in a medium and I just love the colour. It's a really nice kind of stone colour. It looks great with cream. will look really nice with black. Like I said, once you start buying these, you will not stop. I live in them. I swear by them. Uh, and I think they actually do these in a bodysuit version now that I've seen in Zara if you are interested. So yeah, they're just a really, really good basic if you feel like you need that in your wardrobe. I didn't realise how much I would wear these until I got them. And honestly, when I had the white and the black, I lived in those, like lived in them. Because they're just really slim fitting. So they tuck in really nicely to high-waisted jeans. Anything that's like high-waisted or you kind of want it to look kind of seamless. These are really, really nice because they're kind of like that... Um, almost swimming costume material, which sounds really odd, but it's actually quite flattering. Okay guys, so this is just the little basic vest top. I just thought I'd pop this on to show you what it looked like. Um, I don't actually have a bra on with this. You could get away with doing the same as me, or if you wanna wear one, you can. It has almost like a double layering up here, which allows you to kind of get away with it, so it's up to you. I just love the color of this. It's like a really nice stone, something a little bit different. I've got a tiny bit of a tan. So um, it looks quite nice on my skin at the minute, but yeah, it just makes a change from white or black. Again, it's a neutral, so it goes with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. The only thing is about the medium is it's definitely a lot longer and it's probably a little bit, you know, less tight, which feels comfy and everything. But if you do want that, like I was talking about earlier, real like slim fit, tight, super, super, you know, to the skin almost, I would recommend going down because this fabric is super stretchy and I honestly am not a small, but I've been fine with the smalls. So kind of just depends how you want it to fit. Okay, we've got another bag. I told you guys, I don't know what happened to me. I went into this Zara and just bad things are going on. Okay, so this next item, <laughs> this next item is controversial. It is a black knitted cardigan that was $29.99. Um, and I think I didn't realize that I had actually seen this before and I was getting it modeled up with something because this is that itchy fabric that I talk about all the time that I can't stand, I can't stand it. I'm really sorry if I, I know I sound so dramatic when I talk about this fabric, but I just can't bear to have it on my skin. Maybe I have super sensitive skin, but it itches so much. I don't know how people wear this. Are they just wearing long sleeve things underneath? I, 
I don't know, it baffles me. It is a really nice concept. It's one of those kind of like oversized, slouchy, slightly long cardigans that look really cool, have like the kind of pockets. I think this has pockets. No, it doesn't. Mm. But some of them have like the kind of low pockets. They're just a really handy thing to have. But I, I'm, this is going back. It, it itches me so much, which sucks because I love the concept of these oversized boxy cardigans. Um, fingers crossed I'm gonna find one over the next couple of weeks because this is not it. However, if that fabric doesn't bother you in any way, this is a really nice cardigan, it's a really lovely fit. Black, it's gonna go with everything in your wardrobe. And yeah, it is, it is practical, but for me, it's too itchy. We have the most evil item of them all. I literally don't even want to have this on. I honestly despise it so much, guys. It is so itchy. I think I've tried this on before, either in this colour or another colour, but I got confused when I was in there and I didn't realise it was the same cardigan. It's haunting me. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a really nice concept. It's just really comfortable. It would look really nice with literally something like this. You know, I've got like a little bralette on and some high-waisted um, kind of slouchy trousers. I feel like this is what I would want to kind of throw over that. And they had it in a really nice cream colour. The fit's really lovely. I love the shape of the kind of loose arms. This is unbearably itchy, like it is itching me so much, I need to get it off. So yeah, as much as I really like this and someone out there might feel absolutely fine in it, it just doesn't sit very nicely on my skin. So I think I'm gonna be taking this one back. I believe this is the last item from Zara. I do have a jumper from H&M, which I am just gonna add in at the end. Um, but yeah, this is the last Zara item. And this was kind of like a little last minute purchase. Again, I got in a medium and it was 17 99 And I just thought with some black jeans, you know when you need to do like, not even smart casual, but you wanna just make a little bit more effort than you normally would than like a regular t-shirt. I feel like this is quite a nice idea. So this here is like a really soft kind of fabric, nice and cozy, will keep you hopefully nice and warm. And then it just has this really pretty detail on the sleeves. So I have these two kind of puff sleeves and it has like this like cream kind of colored detail. And I just really, really liked it. I thought it was a little bit different. It looked really nice with literally just black high-waisted jeans, a little skirt. You could layer it if you want to do like a little um, dress thing over the top. I don't know, I just really like this. This is the kind of thing that I wear a lot. Um, if I'm not wearing like a really like graphic tee, then I'll go for something that's a little bit more girly like this. We have this little black um, top with obviously the detailed sleeves. Now I thought these would be a little bit more kind of puffy and dramatic, but in a way I like that they're not. This is helping you that maybe you want to do the trend of the puffy sleeves, but you feel like it's way too dramatic and way too OTT for you. This is kind of like a little version of that, but it's not as daunting. So just if you're interested, I did get this top in a medium. It's a tiny bit tight around there, but nothing unbearable. Like I would keep this size. I think I'd be fine. This fabric here is so, so lovely. I don't know what this is. It is just super, super soft, really, really comfortable. Um, I think this would look so cute with a little black high-waisted skirt. You could do it again with some black trousers, like anything in my wardrobe I know I could wear this with. And I do think it kind of elevates you from wearing like maybe like a regular t-shirt to something like this. It's just a little bit more girly and a little bit more feminine, if you will. I think it's very, very pretty. I really love this detail on the... Um, shoulders as you guys can see it's like a 3d fabric and then lastly I did pick something up from H&M you guys might have seen it from my H&M video which I'm actually gonna leave a link to below if you are interested in watching it you can see all of the new bits that are in H&M and what me and Emily were loving and what was looking great and what maybe was looking not so great so yeah I'll drop a link to that below but in that video I did end up purchasing one thing I was trying to be good because I knew I was going into Zara and I absolutely love this this is a roll neck knitted jumper in this gorgeous colour firstly R like love this colour so different for me I don't own anything in this shade again has these big kind of sleeves I'm so here for these big kind of balloon sleeves that are coming around on jumpers and tops I love it so much this I grabbed in a medium and it was 19 99 I thought that was just a great price H&M do this jumper in like five different colours I want to say so if you're not a fan of this one there might be something else that you prefer but I don't know, the fit of it was really nice. It just felt really nice on. It wasn't itchy. It feels like really nice quality. I was really impressed with this and I need to get back into H&M. Um, I don't look in there enough, really. So yeah, I'll drop a link to this below just if any of you guys are interested in checking it out. 
Okay, so that is absolutely everything for this Zara haul. I hope you did all enjoy it and find something maybe that you want to check out, you want to go and look at in store. That's a lot of the reason why I do a lot of these videos, guys. I don't keep everything all the time, but it's to kind of show you guys what is in store, what they have on offer, maybe what you would like to purchase, what maybe you'd like to leave behind, rather than you ordering it all to your house, you know, anyway. So hopefully it helps you in one way or another. And also I like sharing my stuff with you and having a little bit of a chat. I hope you all had a fabulous day day a lovely weekend i hope you have a great week um don't forget to go check me out on all of my socials which i will leave link below any questions i'll be down in the comments so just drop them below thank you so much for watching as always i love you all so so much and i will see you all in my next video bye guys